Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on elementary differential equations. This is video number 7 for chapter 2. In this video, we will look at a couple more examples to solve separable equations. Let's look at example 3. Here we have an equation that is y prime equal this polynomial expression for y. And the initial condition is given, y0 is 0. So we need to solve this equation and then we also need to find the interval for x where that solution is defined. Okay, let's try to solve it. The equation as it's written is not separable. So we need to work on the right hand side. We see that we can factorize the right hand side into a product of two terms. 3x squared is a common factor. We take it out and then we have 1 plus y squared. So these are two factors on one containing only x and the other only y. Now we can separate the variables. We move everything containing y to the left hand side and then everything containing x to the right hand side and then we integrate. So we see that integral of 1 over 1 plus y squared dy is arctan of y and 3x squared is x cubed and then remember to add an arbitrary constant. Now we can find the constant c by the initial condition y0 is 0. So when x is 0, y is 0. So plug in arctan of 0 equal to 0 to the cube plus c and then this gives us c0. Now putting c0 back into the general solution we have the solution arctan of y equal x cube. The solution will satisfy the initial condition. And then we see that we are in a, a fortunate situation that is if we um, do take the 10 of y on, on both sides, the 10 and arc 10 are inverse functions and we get rid of that. So this gives us y is the 10 of x cubed. So for this example we uh, managed to get an explicit solution. Now finally, let's try to find the interval for x where um, this solution is defined. So we go back to the initial condition. We see that the initial condition is given at x equals 0. When x is 0, x cubed is 0 because that's the argument you send in to 10. And we know that the 10 function um, containing the point x0 and is defined on this interval negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And then 10 blows up at the two boundaries. So these are open intervals, does not include the two end points. Okay, using that, we see that this gives us a constraint. x cubed should lie on this interval. That's the argument for 10. Okay, so. Um, now we can take a um, cubic root on um, all these three terms and it will not change the inequality. And then this gives us the interval for x. x must lie on the interval um, cubic root of pi over 2 negative and then cubic root of pi over 2 with a positive sign. Okay, so um, we see that um, to find the interval for the solution, it very much depends on where the initial condition is given. So just put a remark on that. Okay, let's look at our next example. It is again a initial value problem. So the differential equation is y prime equals that. And we see it's already and separated the variables and the initial condition y0 is 1 
and then we also need to identify the interval for where the solution is valid. Okay, so let's separate the variables, put everything with y on the left hand side, so we write y prime to be dy over dx, okay, and then we put everything with x on the right hand side and we integrate. And now we need to work out the integrals, term by term, this one gives y cubed, this one gives 3y squared, and 1 is x, and this one gives the x cubed and plus a constant. Then we can find the constant by using the initial condition. Into this equation we put in x equals 0, y equal 1, and then c becomes the only unknown to be determined. So we have 1 minus 3 and the x is 0 equals c. This gives us c negative 2. Okay, now we have the solution, um, which is given in an implicit form, that is y cubed minus 3y squared equals x cubed, sorry, that's a plus x, plus x minus 2. Now we will find the valid interval for this solution. So one thing we can use is the differential equation. We see that the differential equation, um, um, the derivative will be unbounded if the denominator here is zero. And then we can um, factorize this and find that. So this factorization gives you 3y times y minus 2. So when y equals zero or when y equals 2, y prime goes to infinity and solution is not defined. Okay, so I call these two points uh, so-called bad points because these are the points where you cannot define the solution. And now the bad points are given in the values of y and we need to find the corresponding value of x. Okay, so let's go through those two points. So first point is y equals 0 and then using the solution this gives us an equation x cubed plus x minus 2 equals 0. Then using this equation we can find the values of x. To solve this polynomial equation one needs to factorize. It's a bit tricky to factorize this but we can um, look at it and see that there is a trivial solution well, not so trivial, kind of a trivial, we see that if x is 1, then I get 1 plus 1 minus 2 is 0. So the expression contains a factor x minus 1. Use this piece of information, one can factorize it more easily, and this is what we have. And then the solution for this will be um, this polynomial is 0, or this polynomial is 0 where the second one gives a solution x equal 1. And the first one, we see that this one is always positive. Because you see, um, we can break the 2 into um, a quarter plus 3 quarter. And then the quarter together with x squared plus x is a square. And next, we will find the corresponding x values for y equal 2. So putting y equal 2 in the implicit equation formula and then we get this equation. So this value is obtained by y equal 2. Okay, so moving the 4 to the left hand side then we get this equation. It's a cubic polynomial. So again we need to factorize this one and uh, we also see like just checking values we see that if x is negative 1 I get negative 1, negative 1 and 2 which is 0 so I will have a factor x plus 1 and using that information I factorize my polynomial into this expression and then 
we need to solve it. And then we see one solution is x equal minus 1, and setting this factor to be 0. And then this factor here, again, one can verify. This is a quadratic um, polynomial. We can see that this is never 0 for any values of x. Okay? Okay, and then we can um, use this information, collect our information. So we find out that x equal 1 is a bad point and x equal negative 1 is a bad point. So we can draw our number line here, the x-axis, and we put two crosses, one on negative 1 and the other on 1. And these are the two bad points where solution cannot be defined. And then we look at the initial condition. We see that that is given at where x equals 0. So starting from x equals 0, I'm going to extend my solution to the left until I hit the bad point. So I cannot go beyond negative 1. And then I go to the right to extend my solution until I hit a bad point, that is x equals 1. So therefore, I conclude that for initial value at x equals 0, and the interval for the solution is between negative 1 and 1. And this is an open interval. It cannot include the end point, because at the end point, y prime is unbounded. OK, I hope this example is useful. And uh, this uh, trick of identifying bad points on the number line and uh, search for the interval as large as you can long interval for the solution, where the solution can be defined, will be a useful trick. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.